thinking about doing some shopping maybe this weekend maybe some clothes shopping yeah well, when you go shopping and you look at the prices of some of those clothes maybe they've been made in China I want you to take a look at that and think to yourself what is the price but more than that what is the true cost of these goods so here I am in Hongqiao, China and uh, you can see the smog unbelievable for two weeks the smog has hung over the town prior to that it was much better it really wasn't all that bad it was gorgeous there's um, on the other side of those buildings there's mountains that uh, those mountains are um, West Lake it's a it's a world UNESCO heritage site it's gorgeous well, look at that it's been like that for a week and a half two weeks now I've been told sometimes you can't see the hotel the, from the, out the hotel you can't see the the um, building across the street now you, you can still see my hotel is right over there but it's not uh, not very visible this is this is the social cost this is the environmental cost that comes with some of that cheap labor with some of that cheap goods that uh, we, they bring to China here and some of the questionable environmental regulations. Here in Hangzhou, China, they talk about the AQI, the Air Quality Index. According to a website off of Bing.com, that's the search engine American Jews here, you, um, the residents in this city are getting more accurate readings now. There's about six different um, indicators depending on the, the different toxins in the air, but um, Though I'm told that the residents are getting more accurate information, I couldn't actually get any accurate information myself. So when we're talking about... <coughs> Sorry, there really is a nagging cough in this city. When we're talking about the cost of a product, it's very different from the price of the product. Think of this city. Think of this pollution. There's a huge cost to manufacturing at substandard conditions in china they're paying that price they're paying that cost i love the uh, what it can best be described as soviet era buildings and uh through the dirty windows perhaps you can see down here it's really interesting i was up in the middle of the night hearing people banging garbage against garbage i didn't know what the heck was going on i still don't know in the morning I could still hear the sounds but I couldn't see anybody doing this but that's what we have here some I don't know what it is a warehouse or something a garage but it's just amazingly dirty and messy well, I don't know what's going on in that uh, top of that building over there it looks interesting though okay so what you see here of course are empty garbage bins and uh, next to that is <clears throat> a pile of garbage and of course the road is impossible to get through here with traffic There's keeping going on left and right but it's just curious that not just brush and leaves but also the um, garbage itself is just piled in, in a pile when the bins are completely empty I don't, I don't know how or why that would be the case um, but we got somebody here patrolling the road, so he would know the answer, only I can't talk to him. You can't gather the, the smells in this place. Unbelievable. But, um, well, some people call it rubbish street. That is, the, uh, the Aussies do that. Um, I guess you can kind of see why. You know, they, um, oh jeez. I'm standing next to this huge garbage that um, is just horrible smelling. Yeah, so every day it's like this and uh, the streets of Rubbish Street, which I call the South Loop. I notice it's like the Four Point Sheridan is just across the street, so not terribly far away. You can see here a street uh, cleaner in uh, Hangzhou. He's got his broom and his uh, little bicycle kit there. And uh, he's cleaning the streets. Kind of interesting garb he's got there. 
orange is after all the new black. So. Is that that is you got some coal right there? port in the world. At least it has been the last couple of years. It's a carp. Yeah. Sea carp. Yeah. There's another dead fish.